Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I'm doing a mini happy planner plan with me. Um, I um, have decided to try out the mini um, for the next month or so. Um, it just seems like a good size for right now. Um, I'm showing you some daily inserts that I printed from Plan to Create that I might use. And then I'll do a quick flip of, I kind of back planned a little bit in April and this was last week. And yeah, it's been fun to, to try, go back to the mini um, and, and try the dashboard layout. So I already put down stickers from the Up and Away add-on kit um, from Coco Daisy to um, date the planner and I decided to um, add the days of the week stickers over it just because I liked the font of the stickers a little bit better. Um, I'm still working through my sticker um, pack I guess you could call it from April. You can see I don't have very many left. Um, there's certain stickers I tend to just have extras of, um, but they're also stickers that I will likely use in my memory keeping, which I am woefully behind on. Um, here are all the paper cutouts that I um, still have from this month. And as you can see, this is paper, um, just a, a paper that I punched for the classic size Happy Planner that I'll just trim down to cover that box. I was going to use it for workouts, but um, I um, I decided to just make it a decorative box instead. Um, and then, so I'll add the little paper piece there, and then I will add a sticker to cover the sticker. <laughs> um, and it'll just become sort of a decorative, cute decorative box, and I, I like that. Um, one of the reasons I'm coming back to the mini is because um, I like the idea of having and especially the mini dashboard, having um, room to write some lists, um, but not to feel like I need to fill up the boxes for the days of the week that, you know, if each day has one or two things, that's fine. And then if I have a busy day, I can always use my undated dailies from Plan to Create, which I do plan to use because I do, I do like to have daily pages as well. Um, I, I am pulling from a bunch of different sticker books um, and sticker packs, I should say. Um, I, I think I mentioned, if, you, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that um, we decided to um, leave Miami for a little while and come up to Iowa, where um, my husband's family is, and they're on, they live on a farm, and so um, we're kind of like quarantined as is because the closest you know neighbor is like a mile away and so we thought it'd be nice to have a little bit more like room to roam and fresh air and Miami or at least Brickell area was starting to feel a little bit claustrophobic and kind of a, like a petri dish so um, we are up in Iowa so that meant I needed to make some kind of quick decisions on what supplies I was going to bring and I'll be honest we I filled an entire checked bag of planner supplies. I think I brought like maybe four days of clothes and like six months of planner supplies, um, which, you know, seems about right. Um, so I pulled stickers that I thought were going to be versatile for the next couple months. So this is the Squad Girls sticker pack, which I just, I think is so cute. Um, I, I picked a, I brought some wrong, wrong stickers, um, and then like colorful boxes and some more basic stickers. Um, and then some functional stamps, which I um, have been using as well. Um, I brought this uh, watercolor sticker book, um, which I um, haven't reached for as much, but I actually really like it. And the more I flip through it, the more I find it to be really um, a great sticker book. It's super versatile. It has like watercolor pastels and uh, like more primary colors, which is fun. And then it has a bunch of like goals words, which is nice. Like I like that it, that one up there says focus on um, rather than like to do or because I already have a to do list. So um, the one 
drawback I find with the dashboard layout are that is that the lines are sometimes a little bit small. So I like to, if I know I have events um, going on, I like to use like a, a colorful box. And these boxes are actually from the memory keeping um, sticker kit from Coco Daisy. And so I've used the boxes and the boxes are going to highlight whatever it is that I'm, you know, going to add there rather than writing on the lines. I can write on the lines, but I like the boxes as well. Um, also, I just like halfway through realized I should have probably like taken the pages out of the discs, <laughs> but it's such a small format that I, I feel like it's not as cumbersome and having the mini discs there just makes it less cumbersome. Um, so my goal, one of my big goals for this week is now that I have kind of a photo and filming set up here um, at my in-laws place. I do plan to do some more filming and um, some more videos. So um, I dedicated a whole box just to that for this week because I do want to focus on that. And then um, decided to put all use some of the icons from the Supermom sticker pack, which I've pulled I've like gathered all my icons because I use them so much. I've gathered them all and they're all living in one of the pockets in my little sticker pack, I guess you could call it. Um, and so, yeah, so I just decided to put them all, give them their own box as well. Um, and I am going to um, add, oh yes. Yeah. So, um, I also, I, I've mentioned in previous videos that I like to stamp on sticker paper and especially things like icons. I mean, th th that little icon is from studio L2E. Um, and I had stamped it on a teeny tiny little label and I just trimmed out the label a little bit. It, I'm going to eventually move it so that it is on the appointment box. Um, and then I'm going to use the alphas from the memory keeping Coco Daisy memory keeping sticker kit to write out a zoom call that I have with some friends on Tuesday. I'm really excited. Um, and just going to put that icon in the, in the little space and then add the time in under where I, where I put the zoom letters. And because I'm, I'm, I love, I'm loving zoom, but I also don't need it for work. So I would imagine if you're zooming all day, zoom is, gets sort of tedious. Um, and just adding a little bit of that clear washi under, um, that box. And then I don't, I thought about using it elsewhere and I decide not to, um, the other thing I like about the mini size is that you really, you can't, oh, like, you, the small space makes it so that you sort of don't have to make that many decisions. Um, and, um, and I, and I kind of like that practice of sort of holding back rather than putting all the stickers on the page, which I tend to do in my classic size just because I have the room for it. Um, so it's like a nice practice in, um, holding back. <laughs> um, so I'm using the insides of these whole reinforcers that came in, uh, and I don't remember which kit these came in, um, but I'm going to use the little dots. They fit perfectly on the lines and these will be my sort of main to main things for the day. Um, whether it's like something I need to get done or something we plan to do, um, they will go on the little dots. Um, and I, I like, I, I like how this looks, but I also think it's, it's really functional, which is, which is great. Um, and I have, I have, because I don't use a ring bound planner, there are things you can do with the whole reinforcers. Um, I've seen people make banners with them. Um, I just use them as deco. Um, so I'll kind of cluster a bunch of 
um, the little hole reinforcers just as circles, basically like a circle pattern, and use them that way. So they are, even if you're not in rings, they are still really handy. And you can also just use the hole reinforcer as its own like check box, check circle as well. Um, and I'm nearing the end. I'm gonna add a couple more little elements. Um, and, um, but otherwise I'm, I'm actually pretty close to being done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you want to see more mini plan with me's, um, uh, like this video and let me know. Um, and um, yeah, I, I look forward to chatting with you in my next video. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.